Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa salama ma ba'd Ahlul sunnati wal jama'a wa ahlul fiqh wa haqq They affirm the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has described himself in the Quran which is the perfect speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'a they affirm the names the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that are mentioned in the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam and for example from the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al karim a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim qul huwallahu ahad allahu samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse in surah al ikhlas which is a verse that if we reflect upon it and when we go to the mufassirin how they described it we'll find that it is ikhlas because it can help remove the shirk help remove the polytheistic beliefs from your heart and can help you be sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all to be of those who are sincere striving for his sake subhana so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this verse he said qul huwallahu ahad he said say Allah is uh, say he is Allah, the one and the only. Allah samad Allah the eternal, the absolute. Lem yalid wa lem yulad. And he begot, he was not begotten, nor did he beget. Or he did not beget, nor was he begotten. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no children, and he was not born. Wa lem yakulluhu kufuan ahad. And there is none like unto him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this verse, we find many, many benefits as far as affirming some of the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, some of his divine characteristics, and the negation of some things which people attribute to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, Allah says, Kul hu Allahu ahad, say, Allah is uh, al ahad, that he is. The one. Yeah, there, there's you know, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship. And that's one of his divine names. So we affirm that in, in, uh, as it is mentioned in the Quran. Allahu Samad. And we affirm that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is as Samad. This is his divine name uh, and, and attribute that he subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses only. His creation does not take this attribute. His creation does not resemble him. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Laysa kamithlihi shay fuhuwa sami'un basir. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another verse, He said that there is nothing. Laysa kamithlihi shay. There is nothing like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's nothing or no one that resembles Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah is not like His creation. We're not like those people who say Allah is like this or, or the creation resembles Allah in this way or Allah resembles His creation. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from that. And we also disaffirm, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negated in this very verse when he said, Lem yalid wa lem yulad. He said, subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said that he was not begotten. So we affirm or we negate in the same way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negated for himself. That he did not, uh, he was not born. This right here is a refutation of those groups and religious, uh, uh, religious communities that believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a son or a daughter at their, or that the angels are his children or daughters or, or whatever the various beliefs that people believe about the creator of the heavens and earth, that this negates it. In Surah Al-Ikhlas, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Lem yalid, that he was not... Uh, that he did not give birth and he was not uh, he, and he did not give birth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was not born nor did he give birth so that's a rejection and a negation of those people who claim that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a son for example when they claim that Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam that he is the son of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
We reject that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negates for himself. We reject it because Allah ne rejects it for himself. He negates it, we negate it. This is the, the mokif or the methodology and the position of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah with regarding to the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We affirm what Allah affirms. We negate what Allah negates. We affirm what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam affirmed. And we negate what he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam negated about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we stop there. We don't ask how uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's attributes are. We understand the meaning from the Arabic language of what those attributes mean, but as far as the reality, that kafia, we don't know. We don't know the exact how. That is not something we are required to know as human beings, but we're required to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as all the messengers uh, were sent to call their people to. This is what we are called to do. This is the knowledge that we need to know. But going in, into depth about things that we have no evidence for, then we leave that. And on the same hand, we do not do like some of those other sects who begin to distort the meaning. They say, hey, that if we say Allah is above his throne, then that means he is, uh, you know, this has a resemblance to the creation because uh, created beings, they sit or they rise or they descend or all, and all of these things. So they try to flee from that resemblance with the creator of the heavens and earth, but then they fall into another innovation by negating those, those uh, attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and distorting uh, or, or changing the meaning to something they have no evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah to do. And this is the case with the Asha'ira. This is the case with those uh, religious sects that hold the Aqidah of the Asha'ira, because this is a very general term. You'll have many of them, you have Sufis that have this creed of that with regards to a name, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's names and attributes. You have all kind of other sects that may go back to the Ash'ari uh, creed with regards to the divine names and attributes of Allah in opposition to the position of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah what the Sahaba were upon, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and what Allah tabarak wa ta'ala said in, his, his, in, in, in the Qur'an. And this is what we believe. This is what we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by. We do not distort his names and attributes. We accept them and affirm them as he subhanahu wa ta'ala affirmed them, and we negate those things he subhanahu wa ta'ala negated for himself, and likewise, those things that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam affirmed in his authentic sunnah and those things he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam negated in the authentic sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa alayhi wa sallam. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad.